Welcome to the MyFM Invitational Hockey Tournament here at the Mattaway Activity Center in Renfrew. We have the U13 House League Championship between Renfrew Pizzeria and Pembroke Heat. Well, John, we've had uh, a couple good finals here so far. I expect nothing different here. Really, the bar has been set high for quality hockey in every one of our championship games so far. I've seen both these uh, teams play, and I expect nothing less. I know that both Renfrew and Pembroke, uh, they're, they're freewheeling quick teams, and they had some great goaltending in some previous matches, so I hope they're all ready to go. And there's the opening faceoff. It's won by Renfrew and controlled as it goes into corner. Neil picks it up, fires it across over to Skellhorn. Skellhorn up the wing, but it's taken away there by Young. Young controls it. For Pembroke, loses it, but is picked up by his teammate Cottenham, and Cottenham fires it down in the Renfrew zone. No icing as it was tipped. Renfrew defenseman gives chase to it in the corner. It's picked up. Fired up the boards here. Renfrew controls it. And Renfrew just got in, John, with a... Uh, they actually went to a tiebreaker, and it went to penalty minutes. Yeah, our tiebreakers were uh, games uh, against each other, followed by... Um, goals against which is different for most tournaments and then it went to penalty minutes and that's where they got to and luckily they didn't have that many so they advanced to the finals yeah we, we kept goals for out of it to you know discourage teams to run it up because sometimes that happens Renfrew controls the puck they get it over that's Lewis with the puck Gets it back to the point where it's taken by Neal and dumped in. And the save is made there by Needham. Needham is starting nets for Pembroke. And it's Owen Van Lindenberg for Renfrew. Owen Van Lindenberg has been working in the pipes for a long time. And it's so funny because I look at him now. And I, I remember when he started, he, he wasn't even close to the top of the net. And now he's peeking over the top of the net because he's growing up. And we got an offside call there. Pembroke took it in just a little bit uh, too quick. It's funny, we had teams, so we tried to keep the colors. Renfrew teams wear blue, Iron Pryor wears green, Pembroke wears red. But we had so many teams, 31 teams in total, and sometimes we just couldn't give the colors. We'd have two Pembroke teams in a, in a division. So we got Pembroke wearing green here. So if I screw up at some point and call them Iron Pryor, I'm going to apologize in advance. I laughed because the last game we did with the U15s, uh, one of the players on the Pembroke said, I don't like the color of red. So he was pretty happy that they were in this tournament because their jerseys weren't red. Yeah, and, and folks, just so you know, I wasn't sure which team was which, and John pointed out to me to look at the socks. That's how we told the last teams apart. And the puck is dumped in there by Briscoe into the P Pembroke zone, but it's cleared out. Briscoe takes it again. Little Deke at the uh, blue line, carries it up over the blue line. Gets in here. He's got an opportunity. He's in there with uh, McGregor. Gets the pass over to McGregor. Does not get the shot away. It's picked up by Bertrand. Bertrand takes it. Backhands it. Gets knocked down. Gets out to the blue line where it's taken there by Briscoe, but he does not hold it in. He fires it from the far side of the uh, the red line, but no uh, offside as the ample time to touch it. There's puck knocked down. It's, it's taken by Campbell. Campbell gets it for Renfrew. It's picked up there by Harrington. Harrington gets it. Um, Harrington, that's got to be Peter Harrington's uh, child. I'm going to tell you, John, uh, some of the managers, when, when they emailed me their information, were amazing. He was one of them. Uh, Peter Harrington uh, works, he's an accountant. So he has been the manager for both his sons because he does U15. So I'm familiar with him because I coach U15. And uh, he's the best to deal with. He's detailed. He's level-headed. He just cares that the kids have fun. And there are so many great managers that make organizing a team like our tournament like this easy, and he's one of them. Yeah, he was fantastic to deal with. Faceoffs in the uh, Pembroke zone is controlled by Renfrew there as it's taken by Scobie. Ryder Scobie had it but loses control as it's picked up there by Hamuth, who takes it down. Hamuth gets it into the Renfrew zone where Mulligan takes it. Mulligan, that's my favorite uh, golf stroke. I need lots of them when I golf. Renfrew controls the puck. It's dropped in deep there by Scobie. And gives chase behind the net where it's picked up by Cottenham. Cottenham fires it up the boards. Kept in at the blue line there by Renfrew. That was Skullhorn. Now, is that related to the Skullhorn that plays for you, John? Yeah, that's his, his brother's a goalie. So we know he's a little bit crazy. Uh, but his, son, here, his, his brother is just, he's a, he's a spitfire. He likes to wheel. He loves to skate. Pembroke skates the puck out of their zone. It's passed up there to 
Mulligan who misses it. Renfrew takes it, carried back in over by by uh, Skellhorn, who gets the shot on net. The save is made by Needham. Puck goes into the corner where Pembroke controls it, gets it out, and they get it to the blue line. Renfrew's actually had uh, probably the better of the play here early, John. Uh, no great opportunities, but they have had uh, a few shots on net. They're definitely keeping it in control in their end and taking control of the neutral end and, and also into Pembroke's end. And here comes uh, some wheeling by Kingston. He's moving, and he's going to get over the blue line. Losing control of the puck, and it's picked up there by Townsend. Townsend loses the puck in the Renfrew zone. Gets out the center. Lewis tries to fight for the puck there, but he comes up uh, empty against Cottenham, who dumps it deep into the Renfrew zone, where it's taken by Briscoe behind his own net. Briscoe surveys it, goes up the boards, hits the, the ref. Has one more save than uh, he made in some of his junior games. That's Nathan, of course. Renfrew controls the puck here as it's number nine, Lewis. Kingston Lewis. I was wondering when you said Kingston, I, I was thinking you had the wrong name, but you were calling by his first name. See, you know all these kids. I don't. Yeah, I'm more of a first name with most of these kids. I, I've run different conditioning camps with them, and I can tell you Kingston Lewis is probably a name you're going to say a lot in this uh, game because he's got lots of wheels, he's got lots of skill, and I can tell you he's a guy that I've had in conditioning camps over the years. Every year he comes out, he just gets better and better. I think, I think it's pretty funny because you, you picked him out by the way he was skating because you couldn't see his number. He picked <laughs> the puck up in his own end. And anyone who coaches hockey for a long time can, will learn how people uh, skate and can pick that up. Latour with the puck gets it up the boards to uh, Lavoie. Couldn't clear it out, but now it's skated out by Gillis. Isaac Gillis gets it in over the Renfrew zone. It's picked up there and taken by Townsend. Townsend gets the shot away up high. And the save is made there by Van Lindenberg. Well, John, uh, halfway through the first, no score. Well, you got to say, if anything, Renfrew. Oh, if every, if anything, Renfrew should get points for maybe having the, the biggest farm contingent on their team. Van Lindenberg's uh, a big. His parents are big milk farmers, and then you got the uh, Campbell family, and then you've got the uh, uh, Mister Number Two. What's Number Two? Briscoe. All, all big farmers. <laughs> yes, they definitely are. The puck's cleared down there, and it was chased. Uh, I, I think it was Townsend, but it looks like somebody's changed the number to 74 on their jersey. <laughs> we'll have to watch for that. Is that not 74 there, John? It, do, it No, it must be 14. No, it doesn't. Well, you, you can say that's 14. I yeah. think it's 74. <laughs> I'll just call her Louis DeBrusque for the Bruins. Renfrew's got the puck coming in and a chance here for a three on two as it's head man there to uh, Scobie. McGregor with the uh, pass in, but it's taken away and picked up by Conger who tries to clear it, doesn't get it out, but Bertrand skates it out for Pembroke. Oh, a big play there as uh, Renfrew just steps up. That was uh, Skellhorn steps up and makes the uh, play to prevent the opportunity. In behind the net goes Scobie. That was... Uh, you heard the yelling from the Renfrew coach in a favorable way, telling the boys to skate. That's, uh, that's his dad. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a few Scobies that are loud in this rink. Just the ones that are in the rink. Well, <laughs> except Jeremy Scobie. His son plays for me. He's the quietest guy ever. Obviously, you've never had beers with Jeremy. <laughs> Face off outside the blue line here in the Pembroke end. 324 to go. First period, no score. Renfrew controls. Lewis tries to skate in, but he loses it to Gervdin. Gervdin, probably. It's taken around the corner by Gervdin. Pembroke controls in their own end. Harrington with the puck, fires it up, and is there. It's picked up by Como. Como, two on one here. Como coming in over with Bertrand. And he scores! What a shot! That was a nice up high shot. That shot was ended up going higher than the shooter who shot it. Yeah, and Briscoe, I think, played that right on the D. You know, he was cutting off the pass. He was letting the goalie take the shooter. And that's just the tough thing for goalies this size is the one. They're just at that point where the, the top shelf ones are still tough to shot to stop because they're just not quite tall enough yet. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot there by Como. Fired it off upstairs and uh, and a good hard shot to boot. Renfrew controls the puck off the draw here at center ice. They take it back into their own end. Going behind the net is Lewis. 
Lewis fires it up the board here, where it's picked up by Cooley. Loses the puck, it's fired in on the Ramford goaltender, and he's going to stop it for a faceoff. What uh, what uh, astounds me about this group, and I'm sure if you're uh, if you're growing up watching the Pembroke team or you're growing up watching the the Renfrew team, you can see a lot of the style of some of these kids' older brothers or sisters that play. Uh, like for example, uh, Skellhorn, his brother's a goalie. You can see him; he plays a really good defensive game because he probably thinks, "Oh, my brother has to stop all those shots." And uh, Briscoes are famous for playing D in this arena. And here comes Skellhorn with a good chance. A sh up, shot up high, goes over the net. He just missed uh, slightly on the blocker side, but I think he had room there if he got it a little bit lower. Pembroke controls Buck, skates it out of their own end. Up over the center ice where it's poke checks made there. Nice play made there by Scoby. Ryder Scoby carries it in, has an opportunity, gets it to the backhand, shoots. Oh, what a save. Puck was laying loose beside the uh, goaltender there, Needham, but Pembroke clears it away. It's back to the point. High shot, deflected. That was taken by uh, Skellhorn back at the point. Good shot, just deflected away from the goaltender. Almost hit Scobie in the head, and uh, Scobie reports to us that he loves chocolate, which is great on an Easter weekend, and he also enjoys long walks on the beach, Bob. <laughs> chocolate and long walks on the beach. Not bad. Puck's taken in the corner there by Lavoie, who fires it up the boards, but Renfrew keeps it in. Held in there by Campbell. Gives it away, and Pembroke clears it out. And back for the puck goes Briscoe. Briscoe's going to survey the situation as some of his teammates change. Skates to the wide side. Renfrew's got a very good skating team here, John. Yeah, I like the patience that Briscoe had there. He picked up the puck. He took a look. He saw the open ice, and he went for it. Puck comes around, and once again, it's Briscoe at the blue line. Gets the shot. Doesn't get through. Gets another shot. Deflects into the corner. Renfrew's got opportunities here. They haven't got anything through. Thompson picks up the puck. Dangles to the middle. Oh, that shot gets all the way through there. It was almost tapped in by Cooley. Scramble in front of the net. The puck's loose, and it's in. I believe that was uh, Lewis. You said we'd hear from Kingston Lewis. I believe that was him with the goal. Yeah, there was a bunch of them piled up, all, all, all in there for sure. But nice to see good shots from the point, getting it into the net, and then textbook hockey, get in there and do the work. Because you've said this to me years ago, Bobby. There, there's no room on the score sheet for uh, explaining how the goal went. It doesn't matter whether it's good, ugly, or top shelf, or just grind it in. They all count the same. Oh, and they missed the shot off the, uh, the face off, oh, and in alone. Good. In alone was Townsend, but a save there by Van Lindenberg. Renfrew skates puck out of their own end. Here's it's Briscoe. Briscoe skates it up the middle of the ice. Loses control. Still has it, though. And here comes Pembroke back with it. But Renfrew playing. Renfrew's a good positional team. They are. I think what, the one thing you would say uh, watching them that if, I'm sure they're saying on the bench is, guys, when you have three guys at the blue line, let's just get that puck deep and go do the work. Uh, don't, lose it at, don't lose it right there at the blue line. Yeah, I think with the speed Renfrew has, I'd be uh, I'd be firing it around the boards and letting those wingers get in as we've ticked down the last 10 seconds here of the period. Looks like we're going to go to the second period, tied at one here in the U13 House League Final of the first uh, MyFM Invitational Hockey Tournament. And we want to thank some of our sponsors who are uh, making this possible, McGrimmon Holdings in Renfrew, Remax Renfrew. Uh, we also have great people like Leighton Nightlock Contracting, Plumbing and Heating, Sullivan Construction, Pembroke Mitsubishi, uh, Chris and uh, Tanya's No Frills, and Bob, you brought this up yesterday. Uh, you don't see this in the broadcast, but we have over 450 kids that have played throughout the course of this weekend. And uh, thanks to Chris and Tanya, all of the kids get Gatorade after the, uh, the games. Yeah, believe it or not, every game we've had Gatorade for every kid. And we've given a few away to brothers and sisters that have been in the change room at the time. Um, I went out to pick uh, the Gatorade up last week, and I was expecting a few cases. They liter literally brought a forklift out and put it in the back of my truck. <laughs> there was a lot of cases. And I don't know what we were thinking putting them upstairs at Mattaway so we have to carry them down all the time. Uh, but that was probably a good exercise for us. I'll tell you, we weren't thinking. That's the problem. Pucks in the uh, Pembroke end here. It's taken around the net. Renfrew controls it in deep. The patience being shown here. I believe it's Campbell. He's got that Gretzky tuck in again. Puck comes back to the point. Campbell keeps it in. Drops it. It just missed. Is going by Murple's stick. It's picked up then by uh, Lewis. Lewis again around the net. He's coming out in uh, the slot looking for a good shooting lane. And there he is. Shot. Saves made. 
Another shot on net and another save is made here. Renfrew's uh, definitely picked it up since they went down one nothing. They have come back to tie it up and since then had good control. That was a uh, good uh, pass out in front to uh, Austin Neal. He was ready for the pack. He's the kind of guy that's like, uh, he's he's like, no thank you, yes please, please. He's the manners man. So he probably was thanking him for that pass. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm telling you, every kid I've seen this weekend has had good manners. So I've been impressed by these young men and, and women that have been playing hockey. Like you said, over 450 kids. Uh, unbelievable experience for them and for us, John. I, I know uh, I, I've learned a lot this weekend with these with these kids and their families and teams. I'm going to say, Bob, I was thinking about this when we had our little break, that this tournament has kind of really restored my faith in humanity a little bit because over the pandemic, you know, people have been extra complainy and extra crotchety, and we've seen really nothing but the best in show from coaches and refs and players and fans and moms and dads. Like, everyone is just appreciative and enjoying the weekend. What a play. McGregor passes it across. I believe it was Scobie redirects it in, and Renfrew takes a 2-1 lead. And, you know, uh, we just got back in time for the goal there, but uh, what you were saying, John, is, is way more important than a goal because I'm telling you, uh, I feel absolutely sick for the, the kids that have missed two years with this pandemic of hockey and the fun that hockey brings. Um, being part of a team means a lot to some of these kids, to all these kids, and to be here and, and host this tournament so they get to play. You know, I, I felt very proud of, of us as a station and of these kids. I don't know if you saw it there, but uh, number five for Renfrew, Brody McGregor, who uh, they say will probably end up being a, a motivational speaker because he's got nothing but energy. Uh, he picked up that puck from the net. I thought it was maybe a first goal, but then, no, he just handed it to the ref, helping out. <laughs> In over the uh, line comes Lewis. Lewis with a shot. Another big save. This go Pembroke goaltender has been very busy in the last, oh, probably six, seven minutes of game time here. We got a little bit of contact there. <laughs> Just a little bit of hockey contact. Ref with another shot. Goes wide of the net. That was Cooley, I believe, with the shot that went wide. Puck goes into the corner where it's picked up there by Campbell, who tries to get it out front. Controls it, gets it out front. Oh, and they just missed another opportunity. But Pembroke gets it, and they're going to skate it out of danger. As down the wing, they come flying. That's Bertrand. Bertrand loses. Nice play there by uh, Lewis. Yeah, Lewis is all over the ice, John. Yeah, Skelhorn got to that puck. Just got enough of it to pop it out, and Lewis was there to pick it up. Here's Skelhorn in. Skelhorn with a good shot. Oh, nice save. Glove save there. He didn't control it, but uh, a beauty save there by the goaltender, Needham. Needham's been busy here the last few minutes. Pembroke maybe has to regroup group a little here, John. They, ever since Renfrew scored that first goal, um, you know the old saying, a goal will go to your legs? Well, it's happened here with Renfrew. They scored that first goal, and they've just been going since. I'm not sure if it's Bentley McGregor and his motivational uh, speaking on the bench or whether it's Scotty Thompson halfway, you know, during the intermission said something that sparked the Renfrew or if it's uh, maybe <laughs> it, it could be Scobie yelling from the bench, but whatever they're saying is working. Maybe it's just the fan noise. Renfrew's got a lot of fans down here. Puck comes out front. Oh, it's blocked. That was a good opportunity there by Scobie, but the puck was blocked. It was picked up behind the net there by Murples, who tries to clear it out. It gets to the point where it's kept in by Briscoe. Briscoe Whoa. fires it high and just misses the net. Neil gives chase to it, but can't get there. Pembroke gets it out. Nope, it's kept in. What a play there by Thompson. Keeps it in at the blue line. Renfrew's done that a lot here tonight. They've kept the puck in. Briscoe does it again. Fires it into the corner where it's picked up by Townsend. Tries to clear, but Renfrew picks it off again. Renfrew's playing the walls fantastic. Out front, there's a big shot. Scramble in front. Oh, the puck comes loose. Opportunity there by Murples. Comes back to the point where it's fired in by Briscoe, but wide. This has now become a little bit of a shooting gallery here on Needham. Yeah, they're actually controlling the puck very well. Briscoe fired it in. His older brother, Stephen, uh, played U18 this year for the rep team. He has got one wicked shot. But unfortunately, Gregory's been watching him too much because he missed the net. <laughs> now, that's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Goaltenders love it when you miss the net. Coach is not so much. The puck's picked up there by Scobie. Scobie takes it in. One on three. Does a little dipsy doodle. Into the corner. Fires it out front. Gets back to the point where it's picked off here by a Pembroke player. Skates it out. That's number three. Hamuth. Hamuth takes it in. Dumps it in. Oh, and it's through the legs. And it's tied at two. You know, Bear always hates when I say that's one the goalie'd like back. He says, well, wouldn't you like them all back? 
I try to explain them what I mean, but that's what I believe the goalie would like back. I think if you went and talked to Owen Van Lindenberg, he thought he had that, he, and he was right in the right position. Just sometimes they squeak through when you... I mean, he's not a heavy kid, right? Like, so sometimes they squeak through that five hole, and that's why coaches so many times tell players, it went in doubt, put the puck on the net. Yeah, Bob Hunter used to say, if you're in trouble in the offensive end, dump the puck in the net. Never seemed to work for me, but Brentford takes control here. 2-2 game as Pembroke gets right back in it. They fired up, and here we go. We're going to have a breakaway. This is uh, Townsend. Townsend in alone, on, and he scores. What a shot. I think that went off the glove up high, and, uh, you know, you can't blame your goaltender there. That was a breakaway. Uh, he played it well. Um, just a good play by Pembroke. Good speed and wheels, and certainly that goal changed the momentum for Pembroke, and that's the one thing Renfrew's got to be thinking about right now is Pembroke's picked up the momentum, but there's still lots of hockey left. If I was talking to my goalie right now, I'd say, look, that one's not on you. We shouldn't have let that one through. Just be calm and just keep stopping them like you were earlier in the game. But we've got a real game underway here now. You know, Renfrew was dominating for a while, and Pembroke just didn't give up. They just... Uh kept firing Needham kept them in the game with some big saves and now they have a 3-2 lead the puck's over there with Cooley Cooley trying to take it deep he's fighting one on three keeps control of the puck in the Pembroke corner tries fired out front but the puck's taken away and skated out nope Renfrew's just like a, a dog on a bone when, when they get on that puck but here comes uh, Jervedin tries to shot he, I think he had a uh, I think he had uh, Townsend out front there if he would have passed the puck, but just missed it. Puck's kept in there by uh, Gillis. And here comes uh, Scobie, number three. Trying to stay Whoa. onside, stretch the legs. <laughs> that, that works when he's taller. Yeah, he did the stretch, and uh, the, he, he was offside, and he looked at the linesman like, what, I, I was onside. He was probably off by about six inches there. Yeah, you, you know, if I'm linesman there, I got to let him go just because it was such a good attempt. It looked good. It looked good. Like, I pulled a hammy watching him do it. <laughs> Ramford controls the puck. Cooley drops it in deep. It's taken there by Jervedin. Jervedin behind the net. Fires it up. It's taken by Hermuth, who skates it out over the blue line. Hermuth over center. He's coming in. One on two. Loses the puck, but it's picked up by a Pembroke uh, Conger. Conger can't get the shot away, and it comes outside the Renfrew blue line. It's fired back in deep there by Cottenham, but Renfrew's going to get to the puck and is going to be picked up by Skellhorn. Uh, the Pembroke coaches before the game were saying the one thing they were super happy about is when they looked at their team this year, not only were they working hard, but if you looked at them at the start of the season to now, so many improvements, every player on the team, and that's what you like to see when you're in a championship game. Chase Legree tried to keep that puck in for Renfrew, but it got knocked away and given Chase as Bertram, but Renfrew picks it off, fires it up the board. Renfrew with an opportunity for a three on two here. The puck goes into the corner where Murpels has it. Murpels trying to get it out front. Doesn't work. It is picked off there by Jervedin, who fires it up. Kept in by Briscoe, who else fires a shot. Gets through. The goaltender just pokes it away. Turned out not to be as hard to save as I think he thought he was going to have to make as the defenseman blocked it. Renfrew controlling it. There's Lewis again. Puck in behind the net where Pembroke takes up and just fires it out. They try to get by, and they do. They knock the puck by Thompson, and out comes Pembroke. And Bertrand with the puck fires it high and wide. You know, when they're at this age, they like the sound. Of, oh, all alone in front of the net. Oh, what a play there. I believe that was Briscoe saved a goal as it was going in, and he picked it up off the goal line. We might look back at the end of this game and sit, remember that play right there. That's, that's as good as scoring a goal, John, because that was going to be 4-2. It was definitely going in. What a defensive play. Renfrew is the puck, fires it back to Thompson. Thompson tries to get the shot away, keeps it in, puts it into the corner where it's picked up by Neal. Neal can't get it around. Back to the point. Thompson keeps it in again, fires it down deep, but Pembroke's going to take it. It's kept in, though, by Lewis. Lewis with a good play, but they find Pembroke clears it out as Como tried to get it out, and here comes Briscoe. Just turns it the other way. Got that puck a little too far in front of him. Pembroke now with an opportunity here. Poke check at center ice by who else other than Lewis. Lewis takes the puck in. Takes it wide. Going to the net. We've got uh, McGregor. They connected earlier on a play like that. So maybe going to try it again as it goes in behind the net. And Townsend fires it around. Whoa, watch the, oh, what a play there. 
Folks, that would have been too many men on the ice, but what a play as the Renford player changing just jumped off the ice. Yeah, Lewis, I mean, he might not. If he doesn't make the score sheet in another way, he definitely should get an assist on the game there because that, that, sa that saved him two minutes. Como just doing some dipsy doodles here for Pembroke. Little spinorama, Savardian spinorama, like the old Denny Savard days in uh, Chicago. Doesn't get the shot through, though, and Renfrew picks it up, and here Skelhorn. they come. Five. Skelhorn again. Skelhorn takes it wide, goes in deep, pulls it up, gets the shot away. Hit. Oh! That hit the goaltender up high, get, dropped right down. Renfrew had a chance to tap it in, but didn't get the, the opportunity to get a stick on it. Skelhorn keeps it in. I know, uh, Skelhorn and Lewis... Briscoe and Scott, they're all over the ice. I, they line up at one position, but they, they're everywhere. They've really done a great job, the, the whole Renfrew D, just keeping that, holding that blue line and giving them opportunities to get the puck back in and get shots on the net. I like to, when, when somebody pinches down, someone covers up. We're in the last minute, second period. Shot out front, opportunity. They score! I believe that was Lewis. I think it's Bentley McGregor. You think so? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to listen to... Uh, we're going to have to listen to PC and see whose uh, eyes are better. I think, I think it's number five, Bentley McGregor. He seems to be over there celebrating pretty quick. Well, and that started in the corner. And what was nice about that is when he had the puck, he looked up and thought about going to the D, and then he saw the lane to the net, and he made that play take place. Less than a minute to go, second period of a 3-3 game here in the U13 House League final at the MyFam Invitational Hockey Tournament. Last time Renfrew scored a goal, the momentum went their way for about eight minutes. So let's see what happens here. They get the puck deep into the Pembroke end again here in the last minute. Puck comes back where it's stopped there by Thompson and kept it. And there you go, folks. The younger eyes of John Pole have it as, as McGregor got that. I guess I just have to admit I'm getting old. My eyesight's going. You don't have to admit it, Bob. We all know the truth. <laughs> well, 23.8 seconds to go, second period, 3-3 game. Uh, like most games this tournament, uh, the two finals we've done, and here's the third final. Once again, a heck of a hockey game, John. I think both coaches got to be thinking, wh who's on fire tonight, and who do I need to make sure starts that face-off for the third period to start that third period off right? You always want to try and win the first couple minutes of a period, and you always try and win the last couple, and they might do it right here. Oh, that was a great opportunity in front there by Cooley, but the, the shot was blocked, and Pembroke breaks out here. This is Townsend gets in alone. Townsend scores with 2.1 seconds to go in the second period. 4-3 Pembroke. Well, and that came right off a great opportunity Renfrew had with a nice shot, and the goalie made a big save, and the puck came out, and then the, opp the opportunity arose to rush her down the net. I didn't know if he was going to make it in time. It's funny, everyone sees the, the final play of a game or a goal and everything. They don't realize how it starts. That started with a great save by the goaltender, as you said. We had a goal earlier that was kept in at the blue line by Briscoe. It was just amazing how, you know, the, the goal didn't happen for another 15, 20 seconds, but it was that play that, that led, led to that. So, Bob, as, as a goalie, as, uh, you know, Owen, Owen skating over to the, the, the bench, and he's played a great game. What are you saying to him right now so that he doesn't lose confidence? Because I think he, you know, sometimes young goaltenders, they let up a goal and they start to beat themselves up. But he's been playing a great game and they need him to have confidence for the next 10 minutes. Well, I like what they're doing here. They take him away from the team because right now what the coach is probably going to be saying to him is, hey, look, you've been fantastic. If it's not for you, it's 6-3. Mm -hmm. You know, that second goal, don't even worry about that because we gave up two breakaways that they scored on. We don't give up those breakaways. We're still winning this game. You're keeping us in it. You're the reason it's close. Let's keep, you've got to keep the confidence going because he has played well. It's that, that second goal was just a little bit fluky, but you can't, anytime there's a breakaway, you can't really fault your goaltender. No, especially young goaltenders, as coaches, we always tell them like your job is to stop the ones you're supposed to stop. Like the high ones that you're too short for, don't worry about, but you got to stop the ones you, 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 we need you to stop. And I think they've done that both goalies at both ends. I was playing old timers, John. I couldn't stop the high ones. I'm still too short. <laughs> Face off at center ice here, and there's just a mad scramble for it, but it's picked up there by Gillis. Gillis dumps it in the Renfrew zone, but Thompson fires it right back out. It's taken there by Cottenham, who fires it back in. We got an offside, delayed offside, is behind the net. Briscoe takes, Briscoe's going to survey the action, fired up the board. It's taken there by Cooley, who tries to get it out. 
and is successful. And down the wing goes Scobie. Scobie chasing in. He's in a race with Cottenham. Cottenham beats the puck, takes it behind his own net, and fires it up. Where Thompson, actually, that, that's a bad break there. Thompson made a heck of a play, but he almost deflected right to uh, Como for uh, Pembroke. Pembroke with the puck. Scobie rides, uh, rider Scobie rides the guy to the boards, takes the puck away, and Renfrew gets it. And I like what Renfrew's doing here. They're, they're starting to get that puck deep and use their speed here. Um, they've kept the puck in a lot when they've had the opportunities. It gets by Thompson. We got a two on one here. Pembroke coming in on two on one. The shot's fired. Low shot and save made there by Van Lindenberg. That was uh, Como with the shot. And right there, once again, John, two on one. Yep. Your goaltender comes up with a big save. And that's what we're looking for. That's exactly what I was talking about. He's got to stop that. That was not a hard shot. That's when he's got to handle. He handled it no, no problem at all. And I know the Pembroke coach in between periods was telling his kids probably what he's told them all year. He says nothing stops these kids. He's probably, he's probably said, lads, we need another good 10 minutes. Let's go. Puck comes back, fired in there by Como, deflected in front of the net, but ends up going wide into the Renfrew corner where Renfrew tries to skate it out. Goes over to the far side where Campbell picks up. Campbell goes wide. Campbell into the end, fires it high to the blocker side. Murples tries to get it, gets it along the corner, loses control, and Campbell fires it in, and there it's kept in again, once again by uh, Skellhorn. Pembroke fires out. Pembroke's looking for the home run ball, it looks like, all the time, John. They seem to be sending somebody back to try and keep the Renfrew defense in close. They want to get that speed breakout, and it's proved wor it's worked for them, right? So It's worked twice, so I guess don't uh, don't fix what's not broken. I want to give uh, Campbell and uh, Briscoe some uh, credit because they both have older brothers who play who have crazy shots. They're big guys. They're not afraid to hit guys. But they have a. I, I've coached them over the years, and sometimes they drive me nuts because they miss the net. They're doing a better job of hitting the net from the point than their bigger brothers. And they both have something that I love seeing as a coach is patience. They get the puck, and even though they're a little bit of time pressure here, they take a look before they just move it. Briscoe did a nice move. You don't see it a lot in this age group. He actually stopped behind the net, slowed the play down, and then and then started to move. You love to see it. Yeah, they've actually been, uh, they, they actually look very mature for, for U13 hockey players, the way they control it. Draws one, it's back to the point, it's fired in high there, that was by Campbell. And just before that, folks, uh, there was another play where it came out to, to uh, Neil, who had a good opportunity, but the goaltender, Needham, made a big save. Needham's played well here too, John. Yep, really well. I mean, I think both teams, no one can be upset right now. They try to clear it out. Skellhorn drops in to... Try and knock it down, but it's cleared out and taken by Bertrand. Bertrand goes wide. Bertrand's one of the better skaters for uh, Pembroke, so I, I think you're going to see him out a lot when these guys are out there. Lewis picks up the puck. Loses his balance there. Gets it right back, though. Defenseman stands up. Lewis comes in over the blue line. One on two, shoots it high. I don't know if they played this team before, but they seem to be going high to that blocker a lot, so maybe they know something. We saw the uh, U15 game. There were a lot of goals scored up there. Pucks kept in there by Briscoe at the blue line. Renfrew with some opportunities here. Whoa. It's goals cleared out front. What a play there by uh, by Murples. Got it out front to Neil, who just missed the tap. And Pembroke takes it, clears it back. Briscoe takes it at the point. There's a shot, keeps it in, skates around some people. Tries to get a shot, but it's blocked. And out comes Pembroke. Oh, there's a good little hit there by Lewis. And we got a player down. That's uh, Hermuth down. It's picked up by Como. Como goes in over the board, over the blue line, stops, fires it high, deflects off Renfrew player, and it's going to. Oh, whoa! That was a, a. I think he left it there for the defenseman, and then lost his stick. So Renfrew needs to get this out of their end, as their goaltender does not have a stick. And that's the play to do right there. The goaltender couldn't gather a stick. Six and a half minutes to go. 4-3 here for Pembroke. The Pembroke Heat lead the Renfrew Pizzeria. 4-3, the U13 finals here, folks. It's uh, been a fantastic game so far. Neither team given up. And I'm very impressed with the speed of these two teams. Yeah, I mean, when we look at uh, Gage Skellhorn, what I loved about his play, he just had one here in front of us not long ago, where he stepped in, took the shot, it deflected off, which gave the other team the odd man rush, and he hustled right back in and caught up with his guy and took away the opportunity. And I love seeing players that don't give up on the play. 
They just keep skating. I'm impressed how the defensemen are standing in there blocking shots. <laughs> like, maybe they don't shoot that hard, but they're shooting high, and it's hard enough when you're this age. Puck goes in the Pembroke end where it's picked up by Cottenham. Cottenham surveys it and fires it across here. Where Mulligan? Mulligan gives chase to it. Not going to win that battle as uh, Skellhorn knocks it out. But now it's picked up and offside. That was uh, that was Jervidin carries it in for Pembroke, but it was offside. 5.42 to go in a one-goal game. You know what you like? So we were talking to Pembroke before the game, and one of the things they, the coaches said that were great about this team is they're respectful to each other. Uh, when you talk about hockey, there's a lot of skills kids learn, but uh, being a good teammate is maybe one of the best. Very important. What's that old saying? There's no I in team. And uh, these guys are, are showing it. We got a icing here by Renfrew. Very rare. Renfrew has not iced the puck very much here today because of their speed. They've been able to skate it out and, and get good opportunities. Uh, that's one of the first ones. You don't know if you noticed it, uh, but there was a, a neat play there where uh, Lewis was coming down to center ice and he tripped and he fell. Uh, and then Ashton Neal was right there to support him and get to the puck and pass it back to him. It's nice when you have a teammate that you can rely on that if something goes wrong, they're going to be right there next. Let's give credit to both coaching staffs as these teams, uh, you know, that that's coaching that does that. Eh? That's just not instinct. You have to learn that. There's a shot through and a big save made there by Van Lindenberg. I don't think you saw that, John, until the last it. minute. Yeah, good stop. Renfrew gets the puck and clears it out. Going to be waved off icing there as Jervidin goes back to pick it up. Jervidin is obviously one of their better players. He's logging a lot of ice here now. Tries to go end to end. That's not going to work because it's kept in by Renfrew. They lose control, though. And it's outside the Pembroke blue line where Gill is going to try to dock, deep, put it deep, but Lewis picks it up, skates it over, and he's poke checked there. Pembroke just standing up. And here we go. Townsend breaks down, cuts into the middle, one on three. The puck comes back. The shot's taken in by, uh, by Gillis. It, it hit something in front, ended up going wide. Puck's out front again. They're getting some opportunities here, John, but Renfrew defense playing well, and so is Van Lindenberg. Back to the point, and it's kicked forward by Cooley. Cooley kicks it forward, and there's Jervidin again. Picks it up for Pembroke. Renfrew comes back with the puck, loses control at the uh, red line, and it's knocked back in by Legree. Legree with the puck, coming in one and two, and he just puts it in the corner. Smart play, sets something up, hopefully, but comes up. Jervidin tries to clear it. It's kept in, though, by Scobie. Scobie tries to cut to the middle of the ice, back to the point where... Briscoe's going to keep it in with a good shot. Oh, Whoa. that was a heck of a shot. Deflected. Nice save. <laughs> that was a great shot, and it could have deflected the other way, and it probably would have been in the back of the net. But I love that shot from a defenseman. Hard and nice. The right height. It wasn't a big high one. Nice low shot. Good work. The deflection actually hurt Renfrew a bit there because if it's, if it's low and hits the pad, there's probably a rebound. Under four to go here. Pembroke breaks out. Townsend gets in alone. Townsend gets in and then scores. 5-3 Pembroke. What a goal. Uh, Townsend just picked it up and he skated through the team and he got in alone. And once again, Van Lindenberg, not a whole lot of uh, chance there. You've, you've got to play the deke. You've got to play a lot of things. And uh, a very good shot there made by Townsend to make it 5-3. I almost think maybe uh, Van Lindenberg had the right position and his stick was just on a bit of an angle. It almost looked like it it shot up his stick and, th and then went high because it was a lower shot. Uh, but again, when you're a smaller goalie holding that stick, and moving your body all at the same time. You're not going to have your angles perfect, but he was in the right place doing the right thing. That's right. A clear out front. Oh, almost deflected in off a Pembroke player. Picked up by Skellhorn. Skellhorn tries to take it deep. Pembroke takes control. Three minutes to go, John, a 5-3 game. If you're Renfrew, you're probably thinking the goaltender, what, two, two and a half minutes? I think you got to be thinking of the six players you need, and I think it's got to be uh, about a two and a half or the next time you have control in, in there in uh, – Pembroke's in. And we've got a penalty called here. Uh, we got a tripping call, and I believe it's to Renfrew. So that's going to take away that. Uh, now if you pull the goalie, it's going to be five on five. You know, it's so funny, Bob, because uh, I, I, in these situations, I'm kind of glad I'm not coaching. But we've seen it in the last few games where key moments, the team that needs to have the extra man advantage, somehow they always end up with a penalty, and they haven't been able to take advantage of the last couple minutes and pulling the goalie. No, and that's, uh, I, I don't think, that's one of those hockey plays that ends up in a trip. There's a bit of a, a collision, and it was a trip. Don't get me wrong. The right call's made, and 
that's the way it, it goes in hockey. But you're right. They're not going to be able to take advantage. They need two goals. So if Pembroke's smart with three minutes to go and a two-minute penalty, they can take a two-goal lead into the last couple minutes or last minute of this game. It's going to be tough to overcome that if you ran through, but we'll see what happens. And here's 74, the mysterious Jake DeBrusque, we'll call her. Tries to get it out, and Renfrew, you know what? Renfrew's trying to get a goal here, John. They're not yeah. sitting back. That was a good shot there by Scobie. High, but a save made by Needham. If I'm the Pember coach right now, I'm telling my team, look, we're not just playing against Renfrew. We're playing against the clock, so we got to control the puck, keep possession as long as we have, and when we have to give up position, uh, possession of the puck, let's make sure we're putting it somewhere safe that's not going to result in the goal. Pembroke just clears the puck out of their end. Pembroke looks to me like they're almost content just to, to kill this two-minute power play themselves and, and not give up a goal. They're more, they're more concerned with, with giving up a goal in there with scoring another one, which is the right theory, I believe. Yeah, and if I'm the Renfrew coach right now, I'm saying, look, guys and gals, we got a wheel. We got to be full-on pressure, and we, we got to trust Owen's going to keep us in it because we got to go get a goal. I'd also consider pulling my goaltender because five on five, I know it's empty net, but uh, if Pembroke's going to sit back, you might as well have five players up there as well as four. Well, and Renfrew's got enough quick skaters that they probably can make up the difference. Pembroke tries to skate out of their own zone, but it's kept in there by Briscoe, who knocks it down deep again. Renfrew continues to keep the puck in the blue line, back to Briscoe again. I don't think Briscoe's missed too many of those. Big shot, but it's uh, partially deflected there by Como. Goes into the corner where it's picked up. By McGregor, McGregor tries to do something, but it gets knocked out, and Briscoe skates back to his own blue line to pick it up. Minute and a half to go, 5-3 lead here for Pembroke. Briscoe fires it in deep, and over to the other side goes uh, McGregor to get it. Fires back to this side where Briscoe pinches in, keeps it down low, losing his control of the puck. Renfrew now uh, trying, they still have the goaltender in there, minute to go, and the penalty is about to end. Pembroke quick control the puck. Last minute of play coming up, folks, in a 5-3 Pembroke uh, lead. Now Pembroke takes a bit of offense. I'm not sure if I get that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Last game we saw this. Uh, when a team has a chance to pull a goalie, the other team takes a penalty, and it's happened again here on another trip. And now Pembroke's going to be shorthanded. I'm sure Pembroke, or Renfrew pulls her goalie with uh, 54 seconds to go and down two goals. Well, you look... In that play, uh, if Lewis wasn't going to be able to fly and uh, wheel, Skellhorn was right there calling for the puck because he was going to be away. You know, he had the speed to beat anyone. So I think they got the right speed on the ice right now to finish out this game. I think that's, that's what you call a good penalty because I think uh, Renfrew is going to be in 2-on-1 -on -one at least, if not 2-on-0, -oh, the speed they had on the ice there. Here comes the goalie. Skellhorn's uh, got the puck. They're keeping it down low. Briscoe with a shot, but it's blocked. 38 seconds to go, 5-3 here. Pembroke leads. Renfrew trying desperately to get one before they go for the equalizer. Puck comes in front. Oh, and just missed there by Skell, no, by Lewis as he fired it wide. Scobie keeps it in low, fires it across in front of the net. Puck deflected by the goaltender. Renfrew giving it a last push here, but not sure if there's going to be enough time for them. Like you said, they're against the clock. Back to Briscoe, fires a shot. Rebound in front of the net. 10 seconds to go. Briscoe with another shot. They just can't get it through. Pembroke defense is standing in there. And we're down to under 10 to go here. 5-3 Pembroke lead. Back to the point. Kept in. And that's it, folks. There you have it. The Pembroke Heat are your U13 House League champions of the first MyFM Invitational Hockey Tournament. John, pretty good hockey game. If I'm the Renfrew coach, I'm telling, the, I'm telling my team, in the last two minutes of the game, you did everything we, we needed to do. We got pucks to the net, we had opportunities, we could have tied it up, we could have got the goal, and it didn't go our way, but we were doing the right things, and next time it will go our way. And Pembroke certainly did an excellent job of making sure that, 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 that the house, as we call it, they didn't let them get in there to bang one in. They, they forced them outside. So uh, that's the difference, and that's hockey. But as far as the game goes, you like to be able to go back to the dressing room going, win or lose, that was a good game. And I think all the fans would tell you that was a good game. Yeah, I think uh, the coaches, the fans, everyone have to be pleased. I also want to give a shout-out to our producer, Spencer Pohl, who's uh, 
put this uh, YouTube development together. I'm sure he did it all on his own, John. Yeah, well, we got to probably thank uh, Shannon as well. There was like 35, 40 people watching this game, which, again, we're doing these mostly because we want the kids to be able to watch them afterwards. Uh, but it's nice to have uh, an audience as well. So thank you if you've been watching. And we want to, of course, acknowledge our uh, sponsors like Sports Zone and the Iron Prior Optimist Club, Sullivan Construction, Late and Night Lock uh, Contract Plumbing and Heating, McCluskey Group, Tim Hortons, Arm Pryor Chiropractic, Chris and Tanya's No Frills, Pembroke Mitsubishi, Pem uh, Hyundai Pembroke, Braden Mackay Plumbing, O'Neill Insurance, McGrim and Holdings, Remax Renfrew, uh, Canadian Tire Arm Pryor, and of course our lead sponsor, Jimmy LaPointe's Automotive Group 2028. Folks, think of all those sponsors John just had to read off. That's the community sport that the Valley gets when we put something like this together. A huge thank you to all of them. This is Bob Dillabo and, and John Paul. We'll see you at the next game.